stage and screen with Andy Snowden. Let us know what you want to hear on WhatsApp with the number 01978 540 410. We love local. Callan FM. So this week over in Llangollen has seen the International I Steadford. It all got on the way on Tuesday and on Tuesday evening there was a barnstorming headliner from singer Alfie Bow. And if anybody was at that concert, you may have seen this. If I t- and John's Boys singer Shay Ferron uh, live doing a duet on uh, on the uh, the main stage at the International I Steadford on Tuesday night. Earlier this year, of course, anybody that's been living on the moon may not know that uh, John's Boys, uh, who hail from Wrexham, are possibly now one of the country's most famous male voice choirs as they did exceptionally well at this year's Britain's Got Talent. Reaching the semi-finals, just missed the finals by a whisker and uh, John's Boys singer Shay Ferron joins me now from the International I Steadford Field and uh, Shay, I suppose I better start by asking you about Britain's Got Talent, right? I mean, what an experience to have. I mean, it must have been must have been incredible, right? Yeah, you know, it was it was an amazing experience. Um, it's, I think every sing, young young singer's dream to go on that show, and I think you know, the fact that we we did it and I did it with the best group of lads possible. We this is great. Everyone backstage is just amazing. I think the whole experience and what what could come from it is just a fantastic thing for us as a whole choir. So, uh, yeah, an amazing experience, genuinely. Fantastic. But as, as you say, to be involved in something that you think you know is always a little bit weird. Was it a bit of an eye-opener? Was was there anything that made you think, ah, right, so that that's how it works, right? <laughs> yes, there's, there's, there's a, there is a lot that goes on that you, you don't necessarily see. There is, there's, there's a lot of stuff, for example, there's a, there's a lot of rehearsals that go on that you don't, you don't necessarily see. But then, to think about it, you can't really do a live TV show without a rehearsal type thing. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, it's all, it's all, uh, it was, it was all, all a great experience though. But you got through to the semi-finals, which is an incredible feat. But um, I mean, yes. and brilliantly, you're, you've, you've almost sold out two, two nights at the William Aston Hall in Wrexham. Something you couldn't yeah. have dreamt of this time last year. So um, it's no, all good, it, right? Exactly. It was. Well, we were. We used to be lucky to fill the studio in gross. Yeah. Um, which is only what, I think that's 450, is it? Four, four 500 people? Uh huh. And um, now we're selling out a 1200 seat theatre in Wrexham, which is just, it's an amazing space to say. Yeah. Uh, I've sung, sung, sung there a couple of times with Wrexham County Choir, but not to the scale of the audience that we're going to be having in September, definitely not. Yeah. And that's on the 23rd and 24th. I'll give everyone uh, the deets how to get tickets for that in a moment. Because uh, it also shows as well the power of going on a show like Britain's Got Talent. Just just to get that TV exposure. You're, I mean, you're oh, known, known all over the world now. It's incredible, just that one thing. Oh, 100%. And it's it's quite funny that there's you, you get messages from people trying to say, oh, can you try and get the choir to come and do this? Or you're getting people going, oh, we've seen, seen you on Britain's Got Talent. Can you come and do this? And I think even as a, even as a soloist, I've had... I've had a lot of work, um, different things that's come from it, of people going, oh, we've seen you. And then they've gone, oh, can we get the choir? And it's like, no. And then they like, end up getting me instead. And it's uh, it's good, good, some good things uh, 
has come from it, both individually and as a choir, so it's, it's great fun. Fantastic. And, of course, um, and, well, every, every year you work the Ice Deadfoot, but you're there now, I can hear I can hear it's all fluttering yes. away in the background. How's it been this year? Has it been OK? Oh, you know what? It's been it's been an amazing week. Um, it's been it's it's been absolutely fantastic. Just the the whole the whole atmosphere of the field. Um, I'm I'm lucky that I'm I'm getting to volunteer on one of the outside stages, so I get to hear lots of different music throughout the day and lots of different audiences. And actually, on uh, on Wednesday it was Children's Day, and I did a fantastic uh, uh, little uh, show for the kids and. Um, I got James, James Barber. I think you know him from uh, Orb Sound and Lightning. He was a uh, he's our tech guy. And yeah, yeah. He, introdu- he introduced me and he said, uh, "I've seen on Britain's Got Talent." And as soon as he mentioned that, all of the kids were like, "Oh my god, it's a celebrity!" And it was it was <laughs> chaos. But you know what? It was it was amazing. It was a good 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 gig, definitely. Fantastic. But it was hit so hard. I mean, like like everything else, I suppose. The COVID hit the uh, the Ice Deadford really really hard. So it's uh, it's been a, it's been a slow oh. claw back but it sounds like it's uh, it's getting back up to speed nicely oh 100 percent because it's well i think the the concerts that we've had this week have been have been amazing i think i think the highlight definitely was uh the opening night on tuesday um with with alfie bow and the welsh the west end because alfie bow is an absolute uh I, i'd say an idol he's he's an amazing guy and uh to see him live it was the second second time seeing him live it was just phenomenal to see well, you know, I mean, you can you can say it was a great gig to go to, but um, inexplicably, you uh, you end up on stage, you get invited up on stage by Alfie Bow. Tell tell us about it. What on earth was going on there? Well, it was surreal. Um, definitely, I genuinely, I have absolutely no clue what's going to happen. I'd, I'd seen him start the site on uh, on Tuesday whilst I was uh, setting up, helping set up the field, uh, putting putting last minute touches to fairy lights and trees and different things like that and uh joe bell fellow uh john's boys member he he'd somehow snuck onto the field but we won't we won't tell anybody that um <laughs> and, uh, he snuck onto the field and we, we were chatting he turned around and went oh my gosh that's uh that's alfie bow over there so we went we, we thought oh let's just go and say hello um just casually and joe joe being very confident like myself he turned around and went oh you're you're alfie bow aren't you oh hi nice to meet you i'm joe bell from john's boys male chorus and uh, Alfie was like laughing and going, "Oh, I've, I know who you are from Britain's Got Talent." It was like, "Yeah, yeah." Uh, and then he said, "Oh, this is my friend Jay." Um, and he said, "Oh, by the way, he sings an absolute mean rendition of Bring Him Home." And uh, Alfie laughed and was like, "Oh, yeah." He said, um, "He said no pressure for later on then." And I went, "No, no, no." I said, and we laughed it off and we went our separate ways. Um, and then I sat sat in the audience and I was pretty much front row, slightly to the side. Then he. Uh, kind of just looked at me straight in the eyes and during his second song and I was like, oh, he, he seen me and he gave me a smile. I, was, I thought nothing of it. I thought, oh, he'd rec- obviously recognised me from earlier on. And then yeah. he started singing Bring Him Home and he started singing. I was like, oh, really, really good. And then halfway through the second verse, he he came, kind of walked over, pointed at me and like told me to get on stage. So I did. And it was, uh, yeah, I, I, I it, it, it's quite weird thinking about it, talking about it now that it actually happened. But, I, I, sang, I sang probably one of his most famous songs, or probably the song that made him most famous, with him on stage in St. Austin in front of the three and a half thousand capacity. Like, yeah. Not everyone can say they've done that, really, can they? They can't say that they've done that, and uh, you, <laughs> you can always say that you have. But the, I mean, but from a technical point of view, you, you've not warmed up, you've not, uh, you're not expecting oh, it, it. So, I mean, it could have well, gone it, either way. It was, <laughs> it was funny because I was thinking, I, I was. He was like welcoming us to sing along as much as we wanted, and I was like, I, I, I couldn't. I, I was thinking, trying to sing along. I was thinking, God, this is high. Yeah. Because uh, obviously, my, my voice isn't as high as it as it used to be. I, I love, I love the song, but I tend to sing it in a lower key because because I'm, I'm not the best at singing high at the moment. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he. Uh, it, it was amazing the fact that he just got me on stage and we just did it without without even a single warm. We just did it, and it was it was oh, it was amazing. You did it brilliantly as well, man. And there was no, uh, there was. I mean, I, I think as well in the, in those scenarios, if you'd have been told beforehand, you would have been well. A, you would have been worried about it, and B, you would have, you would have, you know, you'd have been, just been waiting for it. But for it to be just sprung on you like that, that's sometimes the best way in a weird way. Oh yeah, it was no genuine. It was a complete, complete surprise, and people have asked, "Oh, were you nervous?" And it was, it was one of those that it was just huge adrenaline that. 
I did it and my mum and dad were there and my sister and we were, I just thought, you know what, let's do it. And I think to make it, it was, it was their 26th anniversary as well on Tuesday. So it was quite, it was quite special that I got to, uh, I got to do that, um, for, on, on their, on their, on, it was really, really, really cool. Yeah. Best, best experience of my life, definitely. Fantastic. And in true Shea Ferran style, you got a selfie with him. <laughs> oh, true. Oh, of course. Well, I had to, and I, when, when I asked, when I asked him for the selfie, we had to get the audience in, because yeah. it was just a full, full capacity, and it, it was fantastic. Fantastic. Hey, listen, mate, it's been a treat to speak to you. I'll, I'll let you get back to, oh. back at it, but, uh. Enjoy the rest Cheers, of the Ice Deadfoot week and uh, good good luck with all your William Aston Hall shows. It sounds like it's going to be a belter. No, thank you very much. L- lovely chat, Andy. Take care. Cheers, pal. Cheers, mate. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Shay Ferran speaking to us from the International Ice Stedford Field in Llangollen. And if you would like to see an evening with John's boys, they will be performing at the William Aston Hall on Saturday the 23rd and Sunday the 24th of September. Just a few tickets left, but if you would like to try and get your hands on some tickets, box office number 01352 344101. That's 01352. 0-1-3-5-2-3-4-1-0-1. Go on, support your local theatres, ladies and gentlemen. They won't be there forever if you don't. Stage and screen with Andy Snowden. Let us know what you want to hear on WhatsApp with the number 01978 540 410. We love local. Callan FM. FM.